looking to buy any Ultimate Team coins, head over to golden.com and use the code BHD at checkout to get yourself a cheeky discount. <coughs> How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooks CHD. What's this, you ask? So, I'm going to call this series Road to Elite. Now, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it. For this weekend, I'm just going to show you game 1 to game 10, and then game 11 to game 20, and then game 21 to game 30, and then obviously game 31 to game 40 in four different episodes, if you kind of get what I mean. And then I might do the uh, rewards that I get from that pack in a separate video completely if you guys want to see more if you do want to see more i need you to smash the like button but basically what we're trying to do is i want to get good at fifa and i want to record it so i want to record foot champs i've recorded i'm going to record every single game that i play on foot champs um, i'm going to cut it up into highlights um, for example this episode as i said is game one to ten and um, i'm going to show you all the highlights of each game and uh, i'm going to talk over going to show you the stats and kind of stuff like that and then uh, you can see where I am at the end of this episode and then where I am at the end of the next episode Which should be at the end of game 20. You should get the gist by now Well, what I want to know from you guys is firstly are you interested in a series like this and secondly Would it be better for you if I were to round up the whole weekend into one video? It would be longer. It'd be around 20 minutes long and it would be a lot to cram into one episode I'd have to cut games out completely but I would tell you and I would show you how many wins or and losses that I got over the weekend and uh, it, it could be interesting as I said I'm gonna do it the long way this weekend just to see if anyone's interested in this series and if you are as I said smash the like button if you want to have a chance to win a 50 pound gift code all you gotta do is like comment and subscribe on this YouTube channel and my channel in general I mean this video and my channel in general and uh, the more active you are the more chance you have of winning we're coming to the end of the month it's just Christmas Eve today Merry Christmas to you all if you're watching this on Christmas Day. I don't know why it would be, but uh, yeah, fuck me, that was a lot of explaining. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk over the highlights of uh, from Game 1 to Game 10 of Foot Champions this weekend, which is the weekend from the 23rd to the 26th. Or the 25th? I, I, I don't even know. But yeah, let's get into game number one. So guys, welcome to Road to Elite. As you can see, we're starting off completely fresh. No wins, 40 games remaining. Um, I'm excited to show you how this weekend goes. As I have, I've already said loads of times, I am not a great FIFA player. This is the team we use to start off with. I do change the team quite a bit. I have two different teams coming into this Foot Champions weekend. And I change it up quite a bit. This is the team I did a squad builder on recently. And uh, this is the first opponent we come up against. He's got that horrible... Uh, centre back in Eric Bailly who I, I he's my kryptonite every time I come up against him he's an absolute like just a joke to play against wondering if you're wondering why I'm looking over here it's because that's where I'm, I'm looking at the footage Brozovic uh, Marquisio and 9 goal in do bits in, in, in this game and Marquisio's goal here just is absolutely fire Marquisio is really really good at this and he's got to be crucial during this weekend uh, him and Dybala I've noticed are playing really really well at the moment so I'm just really liking the way that they're playing uh, we, do, we do end up winning this game 1-0. Uh, the stats are fairly stacked on my side. It's a fairly comprehensive victory. Into the next game then. This is game number 2. We come up against the That's God 99. A lot of squad builder challenge players. For example, Parolo, Hansik and Dybala. Who I was kind of scared to come up against. And I'm not going to lie. This guy was better than me. We do end up losing this game. It was a very tough game. But I did feel like I could get at least a goal. If not, maybe two. I didn't deserve to win. And I probably didn't deserve to draw. So a loss is probably... What I should have got, and I obviously like I did get it. Uh, <laughs> this game made me rage a lot because for some reason Felipe Anderson on the left hand side was absolutely running rings around my whole team. He was winning headers against uh, Licksteiner and uh, who's a right side centre back, Benucci, and it was really annoying me. But you know what? That's how foot champs is. The, the two goals he gets were absolutely scrappy, and uh, he definitely deserves to win it. It wasn't a fun game though, and if if like there's a lot of games like this in foot champs. Oh, this was one of the games where I wanted to kill myself. He had a very very good team. I'm not gonna lie. Dybala Quadrado and Neymar up top is a very very good, very good attacking trio. And when you have players like uh, Atoro Vidal, you know it, it. It's just it's just not fun. Saying this though, you're, if you gonna wonder why I'm showing in some of these chances where I, I miss, it's because this happened at least six or seven times in the game where I was through on goal and it either got blocked or saved by Taylor Navas. That was a half-time stats, okay? He had no shots, no shots on target. And you can probably guess what happens, can't you? The, oh, there's a lot of games like this in Foot Champs when you are absolutely running rings around his entire team. You're missing chances like Mohamed Salah just missed there. And you're just cursing this, this opponent, you know what I mean? It was absolutely horrible to play against this guy. And then he scores a goal with uh, Quadrado, if I'm not mistaken. Like, how does my squad builder challenge Buffon 
not save that. Like, the, I was absolutely incensed. I had to take a 10 minute break, get a cup of tea, because I was absolutely livid with uh, my opponent in this game. I cannot believe Quadrado got the goal. It was a nice finish, I'm not going to lie, but Buffon really should have saved that. And as you can see, the stats were forever in my favor right there, people. All right, as we move on to game three, this was the second team that I started to use. Um, you'll see why we don't use this team in a minute. Now, this game, uh, I had to cut the the footage short because it corrupted halfway through. It, it still finished up the way the the uh, this set of clips finishes up here, which is a 2-1 defeat. And that's why we changed up the team because I didn't feel like the team had any movement at all. I should have beaten this guy, and I didn't. Um, Remy gets an easy, easy goal. This guy was using the shield very, very much to his uh, ability right here. See, I wanted to use Castro in this game, in this team, because he's a very, very good player. He's just not very good at centre mid when there's not another defensive CDM or centre mid-esque type player in the game. We get a goal with Isco here, and then Koke makes it 2-1, and this is where the footage ends. But it was a horrible loss. Horrible. Now, before the I show you this game, ladies and gentlemen, I have to prepare you for the Biggest scripting bullshit EA has ever pulled on anyone in this game. Let's get on to game number five. Oh my god, look at this guy's team. He has Anaki Williams on two chem, Bakambu on seven, Valero on seven. He's got Carvajal at centre back. Uh, you can tell why I'm annoyed at this game. I'm still, oh, I'm still livid at this game. And, I, and like I recorded this yesterday for Christ's sake. We take an early lead with nine Golan. Really easy and really good goal. And when I scored that, I was like, yeah, this game's going to be freaking easy. This is an easy W to end our four-game or uh, three-game losing streak. But no, apparently, Moya from Atletico Madrid is the best goalkeeper in the game. I need to try him out after seeing him uh, save all my shots. He saved over 25 shots. No, sorry. Uh, no, he saved 18 shots. I had 26 shots on target at the end. He saved 18 of them shots. I was livid, absolutely livid. Once again, I had to stop and take a break and get a cup of tea or whatever. Uh, you can probably tell I lose this game, but the way I lose it is horrible. The goal he gets just makes me sick to my stomach. It's little mistakes like this that you just cannot make a foot champions, you know? Simple ball, Benucci just not reading the pass, and Diego Aspas of all people, remember for the worst corner in the Premier League history, uh, gets the goal to make it 1-1. And this game goes all the way through to penalties. Even after we've had more chances like Marquisio just missed right there. <sighs> I'm still embarrassed that I have to show you this. But you know what? I have to show you every, every single game that I play. At least for this weekend anyways. As, well, once again, if you want to uh, see it done it a different way, tell me in the comment section down below. Moya saved every single penalty that I took in this set of penalties. Ah, It was horrible. It was absolutely disgusting. The fact he had like players on two chem, on six chem, seven chem. He had Carvajal as centre back, and Moya was apparently the best goalkeeper in the game. Even though I technically have like the second best goalkeeper in the game, it was infuriating, and I couldn't take it. So once again, I had to take a break. It's games like this I need to finish. You can see how dominant I was. 62% possession. This is the record after five games. Not good. Now game number six, I changed up the team a bit. I sold my Salah card because I wanted to fund more uh, transfers to make another uh, team kind of thing. And we also brought in Bu uh, Bruno Perez on the right hand side. I felt like Quadrado is a cheaper yet almost as good kind of as Salah. Obviously his inform is uh, spectacular, a lot better than Quadrado's card. But you know, you're going to pay three or four K for Quadrado. And it's it, like he, uh, Salah costs like 200 K. This is the game we needed though. A scrappy 1-0 win to just drag us out of the dirt and we won this game quite comfortably, I might add. Dybala with the crucial, crucial goal. As I said, Dybala is crucial for us. Very tight game. Now game number seven then, I just changed up the team, the one that had Inform Castro and that in it. I've changed it up. I've used my squad builder challenge, Chadley. I think the only one of the footmas cards that I've actually got is him. I put Lukaku up top. I have Kante, Willian and all that kind of stuff in the team. A very, very good team. We come up against this guy, he who has himself a very, very good team. He's got Thiago and Dybala on seven chem, which is the only bad thing. But this game, we showed how good we can be. Like, some of the goals, like, Lukaku is a good finisher. And Willian and uh, Coleman on the wings are very, very good. They're both fast and they can both score goals, which is exactly what I want. But we came out of this blocks, or blocks in, in this game absolutely flying. Kante with an absolute spectacular pass to Willian. One of the best goals I've scored this year. The pass and the goal in this goal right here was absolutely just that pass by Kante was like insane. 
Once again, though, I show my absolute retardness. Not in the first goal, the second goal that he scores. Because he does equalise. Um, I'm just going to say that right now. It was a it was a scrappy goal, uh, his first goal. It, 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 like, it hit off the leg of uh, Chris Smalling. It was an own goal by Chris Smalling, technically. Um, it came up during the game. As you can see there, Smalling just kicked it past Jack Butland. And this is the second goal. And it's goals like this that will cost you foot champs. It was, ah, oh, I am just cringing. I have to block the fucking thing, guys. It's absolutely disgusting. I tried to drop the ball to kick it with Jack Butland's feet, but I didn't even see Hummels there, to be quite honest. I wasn't even looking at Jack Butland. I just, I just didn't think there would be a retarded centre back there to stop him. Saying that, though, extra time, we do eventually win it, and Shadley with an absolutely fantastic finish. Shadley's card, by the way, his squad builder challenge card, is nuts. Absolutely really, really good. Um, I think we do end up changing him in episode number two. That That's a bit of a spoiler for you there. But you know what? Chadley with an absolute fantastic goal. We do get a fourth. And um, I can't remember who it comes by. But we've got William on the right-hand side. Uh, pass it into Chadley. Pass it into Lukaku. And I think it's just a simple yeah, double tap finish. Pass his goalkeeper. We needed to win that game. That's two wins on... Um, on the trot at the moment, which, you know, after a four-game lose streak at the start, after one win, technically here we're 3-4, and we definitely, definitely dominated that game. On to game number eight. And now we're back to using the Serie A side, and we come up against this guy's team, who has a fairly similar team to mine. You know, he's got the same midfield, he's got the same attack bar at Steve Mobile, he's got Barzagli and Manolas instead of Chiellini and Benucci, like me. And then other than that, I think it was pretty much the exact same team, actually. And Insigne gets us off to a great start, 1-0 in a four first half finishes. Really, really fantastic finish against Buffon, who was a really good goalkeeper. Well, I've definitely noticed he's one of these players where his, his uh, special card is a lot better than his normal card. His 88 rated goalkeeper card is not as good as his 89 rated, obviously, but you know what I mean. In game, and goalkeepers usually, uh, special cards don't make that much of a difference. We do get a second goal, straight after uh, second half starts. Uh, Dybala once again near post OP with that double tap shot. I am learning to get better at this game, and what I've tried to um, incorporate into my game is if I'm using a midfield player, pass up to Dybala or whoever I have at striker, hold LT, wait for my midfielder to make a run, pass my player, and then try and pass it into him. It does work well, but if you have a good player on the other end of uh, the spectrum, basically, no, your um, opponent, if he's a good player, you know what I mean, um, he might be able to read that and stop the run kind of thing. But then you have the option of using the player you're shielding to make a run himself, you know what I mean? So, what a goal by Quadrado, by the way, holy shit. This game was good. We did end up winning this game 4-0, and I needed this game. I needed them last two games, really, to just, you know, solid solidify the fact in my mind that I can win games, and I win will I win I will win games. Holy shit, I cannot speak English. Saying that though, the stats look fairly even, don't they? Now coming to the end of the episode, well, the second last game of the episode, we have a very, very good team. He's using Lukaku as well, you know, Matic, Hamas, Rodriguez. Very good defense in Pepe and Smalling, which is a defense I've seen quite a lot. He does take the lead. Uh, strangely enough, this guy was a fairly good player. He wasn't great, but he was a good player. He knew how to score goals. Uh, well, score one goal. <laughs> uh, Lukaku, good finish, good pass. Uh, Jack Butland. I was starting to take Butland off for uh, Buffon after a few minutes because I just cannot rely on Butland consistently. He's a really overpowered goalkeeper, but I just cannot rely on him consistently. Coleman makes it 1-1. Really needed that goal. When I scored that goal, I was like, yeah, like proper excited. Thankfully, it was just me in the house by myself. Lukaku is fantastic at the shielding business and having Sanchez and Kante in the midfield I think I eventually end up selling Kante. I don't know why um, I replace him with another Chelsea midfielder I'm not gonna tell you who but uh, Chadley what a finish there This is two uh, I think two games in a row that he's played for me and he scored absolute bangers in this game He wins us the game very very good game that we won and we deserve to win that game I'm not gonna lie. So last but not least we've got game number 10 of the weekend We come up against the Catuso. We come up against the Suarez and we come up against Sergio Ramos Three of these players were really annoying to play against. Gattuso was stopping everything in the midfield. Suarez is just an absolute god in this game. And then Sergio Ramos is probably the most annoying centre-back I've ever played against. Luckily for us, though, he couldn't stop Marquisio making it 1-0 in the 60th minute. We needed that goal. This guy was not a bad player at all, and he had a fantastically good team that he could have absolutely rocked me with. Brilliant finish. Probably should have been saved by Jan Oblak, I'm not going to lie. We win this game, deservedly, and we end... Uh, game number 10 on a 6-4 winning streak. As you can see, we're currently bronze 1. 
uh, we have six games, six wins, sorry. And we're doing fairly, fairly well for ourselves. Now, what I want you guys to do in the comment section down below, like I said, is do you want to see it every single game or do you want to see a roundup of all 40 games in one episode? Tell me down below in the comment section below. Also, tell me if you want to see this series because like, I don't want to bring this series if no one's going to watch it, you know what I mean? So if this is a one episode or um, a one weekend thing, that's totally fine. I can make it a one weekend thing and I'll never do it again unless you guys want to see it. If you do want to see it, I want to get... 200 likes on this video and then I will do it next weekend as well. Anyways, I'll see you then. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.